afternoon baseball now on the show now, from Target Field in downtown Minneapolis. Place. Today, the finale of this three-game weekend series between the Cleveland Indians. And there you get a look at the starting pitcher whose job it'll be to keep these guys in check. His number is right there on the right side of your screen. Harold, these twins, as they take the field here this afternoon, it was another loss last time out, and this portion of the schedule has not done them any favors as they've dropped five of their last seven. Yeah, man, I mean, this is a big game. Nobody likes to get swept in a series. Losing the first two games kind of put their backs against the wall. We'll see how they respond as they try to get one win in this place as they get ready to get out of here. Man, he's flirting with danger. He gave up a home run on that very same pitch, and this time he comes right back with it in another dangerous location. He better be careful. And, Dan, that's a pretty good example of why he's such a great pitcher. Yeah, stuff. Stuff is obviously the important key to being dominant on the mound, but it doesn't mean a whole lot if you don't have outstanding control to go along with it. But he does, and he really spotted that pitch. Another one fouled off, and he's quickly behind 0-2. Into the windup, here comes the 0-2 pitch. And he pops it up, back behind second base. Adrianza backs up and takes care of it, two away. Here's Will Myers, took an 0 for 4 in the victory last night. Swing and a miss, and he's behind 0-1. Myers. Now a swing, and he pops him up, right up the chute. This may be tough behind the plate. And he will indeed make the play in foul territory to retire. Now to the plate, Corey Dickerson. He's not among the league leaders in home runs, but his total does top this ball club. Takes a high fastball for a strike. Strike two at a pitch that catches the outside corner. Swing and a miss as he ran the fastball right by him for the first out. Let's take a look at the Twins defensively brought to you by Majestic. They are in the top pick. five and the most Designated errors committed by a team. So it's not just Hernandez. one player that's kicking the ball, but it's been routinely as a team. And when you're giving up that many errors and make that many mistakes, you're not going to win many ball games. Lonnie Chisenhall will that stand in. And the home the right away Number splits eight. tell us he's actually Lonnie quite a bit better Chisenhall. hitting on the road than he is at home. And this is chopped foul at the plate. He's in the hole now, down 0-2. Swung on and missed, and that's the final out of the inning. So nothing happening this And that'll bring up Eric Gonzalez. He'll stand in to open things up here in the third. Belt high and right down the middle for a strike. That's in there, and he's deep in the hole now, 0-2. Talk about challenging a guy. He offered up two in a row right down the chute, and the batter didn't even flinch. Got to wonder what he was looking for. Throw to first in time, and the leadoff man is gone to start the third. Batting ninth. Catch it. Sends that, that one out of play air. for strike one. Hey. That's taken. Now it's 0-2. Now the pitch. Grounded up the first baseline. And he'll step on first himself for the out. And next will be the versatile Tyler Naquin. Second at bat for him. And remember, he led off the ball game with that home run to get this offense going. That's over, but low, it's a ball and a strike. Outside, two and one. Into the windup. Here's the two and one pitch. Swinging a ball hit on the ground. Two out, nobody on. Swing and a miss, and that ends the inning. Striding in once again, Alfonso Alvarez comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Just a tick behind for a strike. Oh, and he's really getting the better of him now. It's strike two. Fouled back. Aggressive swings out of him to start this at bat, but he hasn't been able to put the ball in play. Time to use that aggressiveness and make him chase now. Throw to first in time. One gone here in the fourth. So here's Francisco Lindor now. 
He's 0 for 1 thus far. And he gets ahead 0 and 1. One run, just one hit. No errors to this point for the Indians. Swing and a miss on the slider, and he's quickly behind nothing and two. The lineup top to bottom looks like they have no approach or game plan whatsoever. It's like they're deciding to swing before the pitch is even coming out of the pitcher's hand. So he ran the fastball by him for the punch out. Francisco Lindor goes down for out number two in the top half. Swing and a miss here, and he's behind in the count now, 0-2. He has been aggressive in this inning. 0-2 on this hitter. The first two outs were recorded quick because he came right after the hitter. I don't think that changed. And we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three, and that will retire the side. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Corey Dickerson. He'll look to light a spark under this lineup that hasn't found the scoreboard since back in the first inning. Yeah, and for me, the story has been the starting pitching they faced. It's been very difficult to rebound and, quite frankly, dominate after getting roughed up a bit in the first inning of a start. So I'll give him a lot of credit for what he's been able to do. Well, I think he's trying to get that two-strike fastball out of the zone. Just got too much of the plate right there. Fortunately, he fouled it off instead of putting it in the seats. So he ran the fastball by him for the punch out. Corey Dickerson batter, goes down seven. for the first out in the fifth Designated inning. Hitter. And he gets him to lift Pays one on high in the air and Hernandez. drifting out to shallow center. Hanson takes charge out there and he stays with it for the second out. Digging in for his second at bat. Lonnie Chisenhall. Right fielder, 0 for eight. 1 for him here in this Lonnie one. Now a swing and a fly ball. But this is just going to wind up being a foul ball. And here's a swing and a miss as he falls behind nothing in two. I got to say, his command. A swing and a miss. That retires the side, and that will do it. Digging in to try it again, Eric Gonzalez. He'll start things out in their half of the sixth as they look to shake things up here for a lineup that, quite frankly, has been non-existent to date. No doubt about that, Matt. They've been completely overmatched to this point. One hit through five innings. I mean, what else can you say about the pitching they faced other than it's been fantastic? We'll see if that continues as we approach the later inning. Calvin Ayers will stand in for a second time here as he swings and misses there. It's nothing and one. And this one's chopped foul right at home plate. He's clearly looking to hit off the fastball and adjust. That's a pretty good swing after seeing two fastballs now in a row. So he got him swinging. Calvin Ayers goes down to become the first out in the sixth inning. Tyler Naquin stands in as he looks at a cold strike. There's a knee-high pitch that catches the zone. He's ready. Here's the 0-2 pitch. And he struck him out. The tenth victim set down on strikes thus far. Now some action out in the Minnesota pen as it looks like both a lefty and a right-hander are up to throw. Alfonso Alvarez stands in as he can't connect here. 0-1. Awfully close with the slider there, but it's 1-1. Swung on and missed. 1-2 now. And that misses two and two. Hey, I appreciate the fact that he's making him throw a few pitches. Threw it right past him. A swing and a miss at the gas, and that ends the inning. So here's Francisco Lindor now. He's 0 for 2 thus far in this one. Fastball in there for a called strike. Hit on the ground to short. Adrianza scoops it up and the throw to first is in time so the leadoff man is gone here to start inning number seven. Here's Will Myers 0 for 2 on his line thus far. Audie just blows the fastball by him for strike one. He's been doing a nice job out there on the mound but the deeper you get into the game the more the hitters have seen you. This is the part of the lineup that he has to be really careful with. Hanson ranging into the outfield. He's got it and there are two down now. Now the Twins are going to get a lefty up and throwing oh, in the bullpen. Corey three. Dickerson set the plate now as he looks Dickerson. at strike one. I'm looking forward to this at bat right here, Matt. Hey. Two outs, base is empty, and you got the power guy at the plate. He's going to let it fly. And we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three, and that will retire. Digging in once again, Cesar Hernandez. He'll start things out for us here in inning number eight. Hernandez Swung on and missed. It's 0-1. Pitch swung on and hit in the air. Giving chase is Tapia. He tracks it down. A nice running play, and there's one away. 
Now batting. Right fielder. Get to short. Lonnie to his right. Chisenhall. Adrianza on to first. And he's breezing through the eighth here with two quick outs. And that'll bring up Eric Gonzalez. Two away here in the eighth, and time's running out on Danny. Yeah, and they don't have a lot of outs left to work with, so it's time for someone to make something happen if they're going to get back into this thing. Gets the fastball by him here, and he's in control 0-2. And he's got another one. 13 strikeouts now, and the inning is over. Down in order go the Tribe. Your Muhammad Windsor comes now on from the pen, the hoping to finish this one off. Hey, it always feels good to win a baseball game, but when you can win one at home in front of your home crowd, all those fans cheering, this is the a good win for this team. A one-run finish today, 5-4. to four. A coach acknowledges a pitcher on his recent spree of strikeouts. He's on a torrid pace. They'll see if he can keep it up.